Did I not tell us in this house that fuel will buy fuel sometime to come 1,000 naira a liter? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Are you, is it happening now? Yes, yes sir. sir. But those of us, well, that you have it, did I not tell you that, that dollar will get to 5,000 naira? Yes. How much is dollar now? 2,000. 2,000. If it's not 2,000 plus today. But can I tell you something? I, there was something like 2,000 Nigeria that will be hardship. Yes, I said we are going to buy rice for 100,000 a bag. Yes, sir. Yes, 120, sir. 150, yes, sir. one bag of rice. Was that said here? Yes, that sir. Hello, beloved. Welcome back to our channel. I wrote you an interesting video from this great man of God and what he has here to say. He says that there will be a good news for the citizens of Nigeria at the end of the day. I'm not really going to talk much. I'm going to let you watch the video so that you hear what the man of God has to say. But there are a few things he says. He says that prices of fuel will increase up to 2,000 Naira per liter in the fuel station. As we speak, price of fuel in the fuel station is 1,000 Naira right now. And also he says that dollar will go up to 5,000 Naira per one dollar. As we speak right now, dollar is around 1,600 and 60 something nera as we speak but he says that there is a good news at the end of the day that things will take shape for the better i'm not going to talk much like i said i'm going to let you watch the video so that you hear what the man of god has to say and guys please let's put our nation nigeria in prayer here is the video guys watch did i not tell us in this house that Fuel will buy fuel sometime to come 1,000 naira a liter. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Are you, is it happening now? Yes, yes sir. But those of us, well, that you had it, did I not tell you that, that dollar will get to 5,000 naira? Yes. How much is dollar now? 2,000. 2,000. If it's not 2,000 plus today. But can I tell you something? I, I was something like 2,000 Nigeria that will be hardship. Yes, I said we are going to buy rice for 100,000 a bag. Yes, sir. Yes, 120, sir. 150, yes, sir. one bag of rice. Was that said here? Yes, that sir. things will go high. I said to us last year, whoever that has money, put your goods because things will go high. It's true. The price of things will go high. Did I say that? Yes, yes sir. sir. But can I tell you there's any good news? Mm. Not too long from now. By the working hands of God, this nation that ceased to be the back, most backward nation will be one of the most sweetest nations. Amen. Nations uh, will be running to Nigeria. Amen. So guys, you all heard what the man of God has said concerning the nation of Nigeria and prices of commodity rising back and forth. As you all know, last year, a lot of men of God and some business personnel came out to say that people should stop their own weights um food items because they see that a lot of things will be going up what you bought for 100 naira when you go back to the market you are not going to buy that particular thing for that same amount and some men of god gave prophecies consigning bag of rice cement so on and so forth tripling the price you normally used to get it as we are talking right now bag of rice is selling for 100,000 naira for one bag just imagine it's so crazy bag of rice that is being sold in some states for 30 something thousand to 40 thousand naira mass but currently is selling in most of the states for hundred thousand naira so we don't really know what is happening bag of pure water is being sold for 700 1000 naira in some states and as you all know the almighty dollar it's going for 1600 and something naira so a lot of things has been turned upside down for the couple of months in nigeria but i will see this 2024 is just different a lot of things are hitting nigeria back and forth some way that we cannot imagine nor can we comprehend like oh why is the prices of things going like this what you bought today in the morning you go back to buy the same thing that price has changed totally and it's a concern for the citizens of nigeria and which a lot of people has taken to the streets to protest for prices of commodity to reduce 
and also for our government to do something about it because it's no longer easy because just imagine those that earn below 50,000 naira how do they cope how do they afford meals just imagine that you have a wife and two children how do you feed on a salary below 50,000 naira because mind you a rice of 6,000 naira cannot feed a family of four for two days we have not talked about protein and so on and so forth so what is the government actually doing but what this man of god came here to tell us that the father of them all the one that is above every other thing which is god almighty is going to change the situation of nigeria as a nation and also nigeria will not just be a place of hardship but it will be a place of merit that people from other countries will run to nigeria to live so we shouldn't take this that Oh, things are going to get worse by the day that there will be stability and things will return to normal and Nigeria will still be that sweet home that will call that there is no place like home. So a lot of people will be returning back to Nigeria at the end of the day. So I see it as a good news and I want us to keep praying that let the will of God be done in our nation, Nigeria. As we speak, I know that a lot of things are not easy. Things are just turning upside down. Things are going left and right for a lot of Nigerians, which is not easy. But we pray that the will of God be done in our nation and things should turn around for the citizens of Nigeria from the head down to the bottoms. And also, God should touch the heart of our politicians so that they will do right by the citizens of Nigeria. If you are assigned minister, president, local government chairman, so on and so forth, governors, and please be able to carry your duty effectively so that there will be harmony in the nation. Because I feel like if our governments were able to put things in structure, we will not go through the hardship that we are going true because you are there to serve the masses not to take advantage at advantage of the masses because some of them go to that office with the mindset that i'm going to make my unborn generations to come wealthy for life as far as the face of this earth remain the same my family will never go poor that is the mindset some of them are doing because there's something that peter obi says he says that oh we shouldn't say, oh, cybercrime is one of the most worst things or Yahoo is one of the most disgusting things in Nigeria. He says that you should look at it based on statistics. The money those people make in a year is a money that can be stolen by a political leader in a twinkle of an eye. Not even up to a minute, they can steal that same amount of money. So we should pray for our nation and we should pray for our political leaders so they do their assignments effectively. So guys, thank you very much for watching and I want to know your opinion at the comment section after hearing what the man of God has said. And please, if you have not subscribed to our channel, kindly pause this video, subscribe, comment, like, share with family and friends so that you don't miss out on any of our content. And also don't forget to turn on the post notification to get notified whenever I upload a new video. I will see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Mm -hmm.